Hi everyone, my name is Alexa Ortega and today we're gonna be doing a full body workout Tabata style with a set of dumbbells. So you wanna use dumbbells that are challenging for you. Some of these you don't even need weight, but I'll let you know when that is. Follow along, let's go ahead and warm up first. First thing I'm gonna have you do, get down in a squat. You're gonna open up both ways. So you're gonna open up your chest, you're gonna open up your spine, and we're warming up our legs. Legs are the biggest muscle group of the body. You wanna make sure they're super warm. So stay down, keep twisting open. Now go ahead and stand up. Next thing I'm gonna have you do, arms straight out to the top, and I'm gonna have you lean down. Let's stretch out the sides of the body. Go ahead and alternate. At the same time, right now, you should be connecting with your breath. So don't hold your breath. And then I'm gonna have you go ahead and stretch out your hip flexors. So knee up, all the way out to the side. Keep that chest up as you drive that knee all the way out. Next, go ahead and tap your feet, chest up. Focus on breathing, three trep. And just do your best. If you ever need more rest, take it, no shame in the modified game. Okay, next let's take it into small circles forward. And go to moderate pace, don't go too fast. I wanna wake up those shoulders slowly. And now take it into big shoulder rolls forward. Waking up those shoulders. Now go ahead and go in the opposite direction, small circles back, nice and slow. Take it into nice, big shoulder rolls. If your shoulder pops, that's totally normal. Hands on your hips, let's stretch out the posture, your chain, back side of the body, so hips up. Butt back, stretch out the back of the legs, okay? Focus on your breathing. Hips up, butt back. Weight in the heels. Go for two more. And last one. Next thing I'm gonna wanna do, let's go for a light jog. Let's get our bodies prepared. You want that heart rate nice and high. Go, 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 go. All right, so here's your first move. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna do one part of the body, at one side of the body at a time. We call this great training. Squat it down, press it up. Meaning, you want to work one side of the body at a time because it's going to help you get rid of muscular imbalances. We all have muscular imbalances, but working and focusing on one side at a time helps even that out. So let's go for one more. It goes by really quick, but so does the rest. And the sun is out again. So you're going to get your heart rate up, bring it down for a bit, get it back up. This is interval training. Cardio and resistance, other side. We're going to do both both sides of the body, two rounds, that way you can master what you're actually doing. So squat it down nice and low, drive it up nice and high, as high as you can. Three seconds, let's go. Last one. I like to stick my arm out because it helps me stay balanced. You can just leave it down if you want. But I mean, do what's gonna make things easier for you since you're already working hard. So if it's gonna, better your balance, then go for it. Squat it down low, use the power in your legs to drive it up, guys. I'm hearing all those beautiful birds right now. We're down to the last five seconds. So when I stop, that means it's break time, even if I don't say it. 10 second break. Let's go for the other side. Another reason why I like doing things two times, mastery. How do you gain mastery? Repetition. And these moves are functional, meaning they're like everyday movements. You're squatting down to pick something up and you gotta put it up above your head on a cabinet somewhere. So we're simulating real life movements. That way you can move better. Okay, next, grab those dumbbells. We're gonna do some upper body. We're gonna go for regular hammer curls, but you're gonna go single, get started, single, and double, okay? A lot of the times the break is the only time I get to demo, but sometimes I need the rest. So, like this time, you guys just get started with me because I took that second break with you guys. Sometimes I'll demo during the break, sometimes I need a break. Like now, I'm gonna take a break. I'll go for a round two, same thing. Stand up nice and tall, pull those shoulders back. You wanna have that nice solid stance every time. Here's round two long arms at the bottom. 
Imagine if you moved every single day and you wanna start small. If that's intimidating, then just tell yourself five minutes a day. Five minutes a day, every single day. But what you're doing is you're mastering the art of showing up, regardless of what you feel like. Okay, next we're gonna take it into reverse fly. So, palms are facing each other. You're gonna go ahead and do single, single and a double reverse fly. Okay, single, single, double. You wanna keep your chest parallel to the ground. Keep that core tight. Take a break. We're gonna go for a round two. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the front. But your elbows are slightly bent. We're working on our backs right now. Get ready, and here we go. So single, single, and double. Okay, single, single, double. We got 10 seconds. Single, double, last five. Single, single, double. Take a break. Up next, we're gonna take it into a deadlift. So standing hip width apart, pull those shoulders back. You're gonna slide the dumbbell down your legs. Get started, slide it down, back is nice and flat, and just stand it up. So you're working on the back side of your body. Your hamstrings, the posture, your chain. Typically we work only on the front side of the body, but you wanna make sure that you're working on the back side too because you wanna be nice and balanced, and I love deadlifts. Go for a break, 10 second break before we do it again for mastery's sake. I'm gonna show you from the other side. So stand hip width apart, pull those shoulders back, slide the dumbbells down your legs, get started. Hips up, butt back. Core is nice and tight, so no loose cores over here. Focus on your breathing, you got 10 seconds. I want you to stay focused on that move. Are you with me? Stay focused on the move. Let's go for one more. All right, take a break. Next, we're gonna go for bent over row. Single, single, double. I'll show you what you mean, what I mean. Get ready, chest is parallel to the ground. Here we go, single, single, double. So what you wanna do, look down and forward. That way your neck's neutral with your spine. And you wanna think about pulling with your elbows so you activate that back. All right, here we go. Three, two, and take a break. Take a breather. We're gonna go for our round two. This time I want your palms facing up so that you're targeting your biceps a little bit more. Lean forward, here we go. Single, single, double. You remember to look down and forward so your neck is neutral with your spine. We're activating the back right now. Long arms at the bottom, back and biceps. Anytime you're pulling, you're working on your biceps too. Anytime you're pushing, you're working on your triceps. Take a break. Up next, we're gonna go ahead and take it into one dumbbell. So you're gonna stack the weight on your shoulder. And here we go. Press it up, tap the other shoulder, press it back up to the center. What you're looking for, long arms at the top. All right, long arms at the top. Breathe through it for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and take a break. Let's go for one more. Come on guys, we got this. One more, three, two, one. Here we go, press it up, bring it back down. Press it up, bring it back down. And again, focus on your breathing. You got this. Down to the last seven seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and take a break. Great, 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 great. All right, next, we're gonna take it into deadlift, into high pull. So we're gonna do a staggered stance deadlift. Follow me, back leg is pointed. You're gonna drive it down one leg and then take it into a high pull with both arms. So one leg, you're gonna drive it down the front leg you should be feeling it in the back leg of the front leg. As you stand, you're taking it into a high pull. Make sure your back is nice and flat. How are you guys doing? Take a break. Let's go for the other leg next. Careful not to round your back. So shoulders are always pulled back. Here we go, other leg. Your back leg is on its tippy toe. Slide it down and drive it up. And focus on your breath too. Down, drive it up. 
10 seconds, guys. Last five, four, three, two, one. Take a break. So we're gonna take it back into the first leg that we did. Again, mastery is everything. So get ready, single leg staggered deadlift with a high pull. Slide it down that front leg. As you stand, high pull, work on those shoulders and those legs. So drive it down, stand it up, elbows pointed up. Working on the hamstrings, the glutes, the shoulders. Try and keep your neck relaxed as you slide this down and come up. Doing great, guys. We're doing great. Heart rate's nice and high, working with weights. Weights are gonna help you build muscle. The more muscle you have, the more you can eat without gaining weight. Here we go, drive it down. Also, as women, we start losing muscle mass by the age of 25, every single year. And lifting weights helps with increasing bone density. So if you wanna prevent osteoporosis, lift weights. And I'm surprised that doctors don't tell their patients that, because it's preventative. A lot, I have a lot of clients who are in the beginning stages of osteoporosis because they didn't work out, they didn't lift weights. And they're lifting now, which is great, but start now. So we're gonna go one at a time, single, single, double. All right, make those shoulders burn. I know we just did a couple of shoulder workouts here. But here's the thing, if you have strong shoulders, it's gonna be easy for you to lift anything above your head, anything that you need to put away, groceries, whatever it is. Your kids, if you like to carry them. You ready for round two? Let's do this, guys. And here we go, single, single. When you start getting tired, you wanna start asking yourself why you're doing this. Why are you working out? We're here for different reasons. Some of us do want to get healthier, some stronger. Some of us want to look good. Whatever the reason is, you need to get emotionally connected to it. That way you're invested in your own goal. And sometimes it is going to get hard. You're not going to want to do it. How bad do you want it? Okay? It's not going to be comfortable, but it's going to be worth it. All right, we're going to take it into a forward and backward lunge. So forward, back to center backward lunge. We're gonna do the same leg, same leg, and then during the break we'll switch legs and we'll go back to that same leg for round two. Okay, front lunge is harder than the back lunge because of balance. Take a break. We're gonna go for the other leg next. Get ready guys. We're there in three, two, and one. Let's go take a step forward. Bring that knee as close to the ground as you can and focus on your breathing. Don't hold your breath. Not breathing is a great way to lose consciousness. We do not want that. All right, so you're responsible for your own health. You know what your body can and can't do. And you just wanna honor your body where it's at. Know that that's more than enough. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the front now. So we're gonna go, for, go back to that same leg. My heart rate's up, guys. I'm feeling it, here we go. Lunge forward, lunge back, same leg. Lunge forward and lunge back. I love this beautiful sun that's shining on me. It makes me feel so nice and warm because when I was not moving, it was really cold this morning in the 50s. But as soon as you start moving, take a break. It just feels so good. Now it feels good with a cool breeze. Here we go. Other leg and lunges. Lunges are always challenging but your legs get stronger to where they're still challenging, but they're not as hard as when you first started. That's when you gotta add the weight because you wanna keep challenging yourself. That's how muscle keeps growing. If you get used to a certain movement, you're not gonna, you're not gonna improve. So you have to constantly be challenging yourself. Next, let's do the upper body. Let's give your legs a rest. So take it into a high pull from here press you're combining two moves back down into a high pull and a press slow on the way down fast on the way up my heart rate is so high right now guys how are you guys doing are you feeling it too if not increase your speed or increase your weight one or the other because you here you should be breathing heavy heart rate should be high okay stand tall shoulders pulled back here we go round two high pull Press long arms at the top of that press. You gotta stay with me. Come on, we're gonna finish strong together. I know you're feeling it. 
I'm feeling it too. We're down to the last seven seconds. So go until you see me stop. Don't, don't stop before that. Come on, finish strong. Three, two, and take a break. There you go. Next, one dumbbell down. Hold this by your chest. You're gonna pivot your hips. Press, drive it up. Tricep crusher, get started. Press it to the center. Pivot your hips, press, just follow me up to the center. So we're doing a chest press, a shoulder press, and a tricep crusher. Talk about working on the arms, all parts of the arms. Push movements. All right, take a break, take a breather. If your heart rate's up, good job. If it's not, we're a little bit harder. We're here to work our cardiovascular system today, along with our muscles. Press forward, pivot, I forgot the press up. Tricep crusher. Come on guys, let's go. You got 10 seconds. What can you do in 10 seconds? Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Take a break. All right, we're gonna take it into more shoulders. Okay, so we're gonna go for wood choppers. What does that mean? With one dumbbell, you're gonna drive it up to the side, bring it down. You're working your obliques, get started, and your shoulders, very slight bend in the shoulders. I wanna do two per side. So stick to the same side first. We'll take a short break and we'll do it again on that same side. All right, here we go. Three, two, last one. Take a break. Take a break. All right, guys, so we're gonna go for that same side, same move. Turn your toe, twist your body, and here we go, drive it up. Bring it down, drive it up. Fast on the way up, slow on the way down. Stay with me, guys, come on. We got 10 seconds, what can you do in 10 seconds? I feel like 10 seconds sounds so short until you start working out. 10 seconds feels like a minute sometimes, depending on how, how hard the move is. So we got one more on the other side, then we're gonna switch movements. We're gonna bring the heart rate up a lot in our next move. All right, here we go, other side, drive it up. You guys feeling okay? Comment below how you did during this workout, how you're feeling, if this was your first one, or if this was your 10th or 1,000th. Update us, I read every comment. I wanna hear about your health journey. It's really cool seeing all these people who are interested in their health. Take a break, okay, next. Grab both of your dumbbells. We're gonna take it into swings. So, you don't need a kettlebell for this. You're gonna hinge your hips forward and drive the weight through, okay? It's not a squat, you're hinging your hips and you're pushing the weight through your hips to get the weight up to chest level. Your arms are not doing anything, they're just a vessel. Five seconds, guys. This always gets the heart rate up, but keep going. All right, take a break. Next, we're gonna do swings differently. You're gonna hold them by your sides versus in between your legs. Okay, get ready, and here we go. Drive it up. So you're holding them by your sides. You're using the power in that hip thrust to drive that weight up. We're down to the last seven seconds. I want you to push a little bit more. Put more energy into it for three, two, break. Holy bananas. Up next, we're gonna go for frontal, frontal raise. So slight bent in the arm, follow me. One arm at a time, okay? Alternating frontal raise. Wow, it's really, I mean, I'm burning those shoulders out like crazy, but it feels good. Come on, stay with me, guys. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, now we're gonna go for side raises this way because I wanna hit all parts. So pull those shoulders back, slight bend in the arms and the elbows specifically. Stand tall, here we go. Drive it up, drive it up. Fast on the way up, slow on the way down. 10 seconds. Here we go guys, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's go for one more. All right, you know what I say, I like to do it twice for mastery. So we're gonna go back to frontal raises. To start, get ready, three, two, one. Here we go. Get those frontal raises in. Wanna build those really strong shoulders. Then do a lot of frontal raises, shoulder presses, lateral raises. 
There's so many, so many different combinations that you can do so you never get bored. But here's the thing, sometimes you do have to repeat a movement a lot so that you master that move. All right, shake it off. Sometimes people get tense in their neck, they hold their stress there. So just make sure you're keeping your neck loose. We're gonna go for lateral, lun lateral not lunges, lateral raises. I'm so used to doing lunges that that came out. Ooh, my shoulders are burning. Keep the slight bend in your arms, guys. Come on. We're down to the last five seconds here. Four, three, two, get one more in. All right, take 10. Next, grab your dumbbell. We're gonna take it into tricep crushers, okay? So take a break. And here we go, press it up. Elbows tucked in, drive it down, drive it up. Come on guys, all the way down, all the way up. We got 10 seconds here. Keep your chin tucked into your chest. We're working on your triceps right now. Come on guys, three, two, and take a break. Take a break before round two. Let's go guys. You should be feeling fired up right now. And round two, tricep crushers. Tuck the chest, tuck your chin into your chest. Protect that neck. Elbows are tucked in. Hitting those triceps, you guys. 10 seconds, come on. Let's go. Here for five, four, three, two, one, Excellent, grab those dumbbells, we're gonna need both. You're gonna do a combination row into curl. So hitting the back and the biceps. What does that look like? Get ready. You're gonna row, stand up, hammer curl. Long arms at the bottom of each row, long arms at the bottom of each curl. I love this move, because it gives you really nice biceps and really nice, a really nice back. Keep the core nice and tight. So you wanna look down and forward so your neck's neutral with your spine. Take a break. I'm gonna show you what that looks like from the front. You guys doing okay? We're almost there. Here we go, get ready. Chest parallel to the ground, look down. And think about pulling with your elbows so you activate your back. I like that, that little trick right there. Here we go. Last 10, guys. Stay with me, I know you're feeling it. I get it, I'm feeling it too. We're gonna do an extra bicep movement after this. It's like a superset. All right, so your next move. We're gonna do curls a little bit differently. You're gonna curl in here and bring it down. Curl in here and bring it down. You might have to use lower weight depending on how strong your biceps are, but you wanna keep it close to your body. It's like you're scooping up that weight. So hitting the biceps at a different angle, okay? That way we're stimula stimulating all heads of the bicep. Keep going, guys. I'm feeling that burn like crazy. Last one. Okay, shake it off, let those biceps rest. We got one more, same thing. Get ready, three, two, one. Here we go. Hammer curl, let's do this. Good, keep going, don't stop now. We're down to the last 10 seconds here. Go, go, go. Here for five, four, three, keep going, two, last one. All right, up next, you're gonna go for combination move again. Bent over row to fly. What does that look like? So you're gonna do a fly first, elbows are bent, drive it out, and then go ahead and start. Row, again, drive it out, and row. We're working all parts of the back, the bicep, and your core as you keep yourself stabilized during this move. For that row, you wanna make sure your arms are nice and long, okay? Keep going, take a break. Keep going and take a break. Up, next, get ready. Three, two, one, here we go. Drive it out and take it into a row. Drive it out and take it into a row. Come on guys, let's go. We're down to the last 10 seconds here. Show me what you're made of for the last five, four, three, two, one, Take a break. Take a break. Up next, we're gonna take it into split squat to curl. So get in a staggered stance. You're gonna drive your leg down as you come up. Take it into a hammer curl. So same leg, bring it down, bring it up. Call this a split squat. 10 seconds, guys. 
keep going until I stop. We're here for three, two, give me one more. All right, take a break. We're gonna go for the other leg next. So you wanna try and put the weight on the back leg. Pull those shoulders back. I know you're tired, I hear you. We got this though, let's go. Down, drive it up. Down, drive it up. Come on guys, stay with me. Back and legs, my favorite thing to work out. And we're almost there. Last five seconds, four, three, two, one. So like I say, we're gonna do that same move for mastery's sake. Get back to your original leg that you started with. And here we go, drive it down, take it into a curl. Drive it down, take it into a curl. Come on guys, let's go. Don't stop now, we're so close to being done. You want that feeling of finishing strong. Okay, five seconds, five, four, three, two, last one. All right, we're gonna take it on to the other side, last lunge. Lunges are hard. They do get your heart rate up, but they're so good for you. All right, here we go. Drive it down, drive it up. Embrace that high heart rate. Drive it down, drive it up into a curl. Come on guys, show me what you can do. Show yourself what you can do. You wanna show yourself you're strong, you're capable? Do that here during the workout. And then you can apply that to other places in your life. Next, we'll take it into a sumo squat. Really wide stance, weights are in the middle. Get ready. Drive it down and stand it up. That's it. Nice little squat and stand it up. You got this guys, we're almost done. We got one more move after this and then we're gonna stretch. Yay, another day, another workout. Three, two, get one more in. Okay, take a break. You wanna make sure those squats are really low, okay? Get ready, round number two. In three, two, one, here we go. Drive it down, stand it up. Drive it down and stand it up. Come on guys, stay with me. You got 10 seconds. Bring your butt down nice and low. We're gonna end with an ab workout, standing ab workout, which also targets your shoulders. Last one. Okay, place one dumbbell down, finish strong, lock that arm out. You're gonna go ahead and lean down to one side, keeping the other locked arm locked. You're gonna work your abs right here. Start and go as slow as you need. You might need to use a lighter weight. Whew, I'm really feeling it right here, my obliques. Go nice and slow. Also targeting the shoulders. Holy cow. Get one more in on this side. Take a break. My heart rate's pumping, you guys. Oh my gosh, my heart rate's pumping. All right, we're gonna go for the other arm next. Get ready, three, two, here we go. Drive it down and bring it up. Come on, guys. You wanna finish strong, right? Last 10. Tell yourself every time you work out, you're gonna give yourself everything. Nothing else matters. Focus on being present on the move and your breath. All right, take a break. Last round, last round guys. Let's finish strong, lock that arm out. In three, two, one, here we go. Lean it down and drive it up. Lean it down and drive it up. Come on, let's go, last one. Oh my gosh, that feels so good too, that stretch that you get. But you wanna keep your arm really locked out, okay? Five seconds, four, three, get one more in. All right, take a break. All right, other side, lock it out. Here we go, lean down and drive it up. Come on guys, we're getting close to being done. How hard are you willing to work for yourself? Come on, three, two, one, take a break. All right, here we go guys, our last move. So, we're gonna take it into a lunge, squat, lunge. Let's go, lunge, squat in the middle, come on. Finish strong, finish with a smile on your face knowing that you're almost there. Come on, don't stop until I do. Let's go. Keep going, five, four, three, two, and take a break. So we're gonna go for one more round, same thing, and then guess what? We're stretching. Now, I want you to use whatever energy you've got. 
Put it in this workout. I know you're tired. Let's go. Come on, last one. Best as you can. Lunge. Squat down nice and low. Lunge to the other side. Come on, guys. Stay with me. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Take a break. Good job, guys. Heck yeah. Pat yourself on the back. You did it again. Let's go ahead and cool down. First thing I'm going to have you do, grab your foot. You're not going to take into a standing bow. You're just going to pull your foot up until you feel the stretch right here. My heart rate's so high. Holy cow, guys. Now go ahead and pull your knee up towards your chest. We did it. We did it. You should be proud of yourself. Grab your foot. Always work out on days you don't want to do it because then you're practicing being consistent. That's where discipline comes from. Doing it when you don't want to do it. Pull those shoulders back. Let's go for neck rolls. Nice and slow. Go ahead and grab your arm, actively pull across your body. And go ahead and switch. Other side, grab that elbow, pull it down. And switch. Clasp your hands out in front of you, reach up nice and high. Lean down to one side and switch. Now go ahead and place your hand on your hips. Hips up, butt back. Oh, that feels so good to stretch out the legs, especially because we did so many, so many work, so much work on the legs. So drive the weight through your heels as you stand. Let's go for two more. Boy, that feels good. And last one. All right, I'm gonna have you hang down at the bottom as low as you can. You're gonna get as close to, you, to your legs as you can. From here, swing side to side. Slowly come up, vertebra by vertebra. Neck and shoulders being the last thing to come up. Okay, let's go for one more. Hang down. Slowly come up, vertebra by vertebra. Pat yourselves on the back, guys. Go ahead and plant your feet on the ground. Inhale it up. Exhale it out. Last one. Inhale it up. And exhale it out. Being proud of the strength and discipline that you stepped in today. Great work, guys. I will see you at the next workout. Woo!